I'll start this by saying that I have a terrible biological father. He has been a shady person all my life, and constantly caused me a lot of grief. This is one of those examples. When I was four, my parents split. My mother and I moved states, and they agreed I would visit my dad every school holiday for a week. This one particular time, I had been with him a few days, and I was playing with my cousin at a nearby park. The car pulled up, and I recognized the man as one of my dad's friends. He called me over, and without thinking, I ran over to him and left my cousin at the park. He asked me if I could show him where my dad lived, and I agreed and got into the car. I gave directions and didn't notice at all they weren't following them correctly. After way too long, I did realize that we were getting closer to the city, which. Is far from my dad's house. We pulled up at a house I didn't recognize, and the man told me to wait in the car. I did. I didn't feel scared at all for some reason. He eventually took me inside, and I definitely started to feel unsafe. I mainly remember two girls passed out, and a much older man, also in the room. I made eye contact with this man. And he made me sick to my stomach. It was at this moment I realized I was in a bad situation. A lady took me into a room and brought me a sandwich. The bread was stale, and I wasn't hungry but ate it because I felt bad for her, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But that's how I was thinking at the time. She told me a lot of things I didn't understand, but when she left, I remember thinking my dad was coming to pick me up soon. And I fell asleep waiting for him. I wet the bed that night, and no one came to see me the next day until I cried very loudly and banged on the door. The lady came back, and yelled at me for stinking up her bedroom. And then I asked her about my dad. She said he was coming tonight after he finished work. She didn't offer me a shower or a bath, so I sat in my soiled pants all day. After that. Everything turned into a blur. My dad did not come that night, and I was terrified. In my head, I felt like I'd been there for months. I thought I was missing school, and everyone had forgotten about me. In reality, I was there for five days. They let me take one shower. I don't remember eating much except for boring sandwiches, and I had chips and gravy once. Finally, my mum drove across the country to come and get me. After not being able to get a hold of me or my dad for so long, and then me missing my pre-booked flight home, she panicked and came to look for me. Thank God she did. She found my dad at his girlfriend's house, completely methed out. Turns out he owed a lot of money to people who had taken me. They told him that they had me, but he couldn't afford it or didn't want me back. Whatever it was, he never even tried. My mum amazingly paid his debt after borrowing from a lot of people and came to get me. I remember when someone came into that room and told me my mum was there. I walked out and I could smell her. It was the best feeling to feel safe again. She took me home and I didn't see my dad again for a very long time. She never called the police. My parents' relationship was very complicated. And I fully understand the choices she made. I'm definitely okay now. I've spoken about this in therapy, and have come to terms with most of the things that I went through as a child. But it's still a very messed up situation for anyone to be in.